Hello and good afternoon. Welcome everyone. It's good to see everyone on today's AT Tools in service and presentation. My name is Sherry Marshall. I'm a sign language interpreter. I work with the deaf and hard of hearing. And this year we have a student who is deaf and also blind. So today's technology tool that I will be sharing with you fits the profile of a student who is visually impaired or blind. And if you have a student that fits that profile, or if you have a colleague that you know of a student that fits that profile, or if you have one down the line, please consider this AT tool. It is really wonderful. Let's get started. This particular uh, image, equality versus equity, caught my attention, and we might have seen this picture before. And it's, it really it speaks for itself. It just really speaks for itself. Let me just share this brief information on this picture. It says, the students who are furthest behind require more of those resources to catch up, succeed, and eventually close the achievement gap. Giving students who come to school lacking academically because of factors outside of school's control to have access to exceptional teachers to provide them with the kind of high quality education they need to succeed. Equality has become synonymous with leveling the playing field. So let's make equity synonymous with more of those who need it. <laughs> equality versus equity. Yes, making sure all students have equal access to resources is an important goal. All students should have access, should have the resources necessary for a high quality education. But the truth remains that some students need more to get there. And we already know that because we deal with those students every day, each of us. Orbit Research and APH says, how can we help? And they have helped. They have helped and they have supported. We need to develop an AT tool, they said, that can help blind or visually impaired students have access and work effectively and independently. Doo -doo. Access has been granted. In the fall of 2013, the Orion T184 Plus, the world's first fully accessible handheld talking graphic calculator, was invented. And they were able to do that very effectively. This is a website that shows more information of how that got launched and started. Um, it was really their passion for helping teachers, their passion for helping all students, and their passion about our commitment through STEM. This particular website, the original website, orbitsearch.com, takes you and allows you to see how to purchase it. Prices have significantly dropped since 2013. You can even go on Amazon. But this is their website. I just wanted to show that to you. Moving along, we have our talking graphing calculators. <laughs> the benefits for using the T1A4 Plus. Let me just share a few highlights. Life is easier in and out the classroom when doing math homework. The student is able to be in advanced math class and equally part of the class discussion that normally they would not have that access. The student now has equal access, which is huge. Even the president of Texas Instruments Education Technology says, puts blind and visually impaired students on an even playing field for success. The pros are, they have access through their buttons with the braille cell on the left-hand side. We'll show a video on that. But another plus is they have a, a jack, which is a great feature for noise control. And they did not originally have that when they had their other talking calculator but now this one they can have that which is huge because it allows them to sit up in the front because they couldn't do that they sometimes they would have to sit in the back because the calculator would you know they would be talking and making noise let me just highlight this real quickly 
It says how to utilize the T184 Plus. Well, when they turn it on, it vibrates and makes a little noise. And then they have a key mode, a, a mode key to help them identify um, different functions of the key in case they forget or they don't know where those functions are. They have two teachers. They have the regular math teacher. And then they also have their V1 teacher, the visually impaired teacher. So the visually impaired teacher, let me see. I have, I have a, a, a linked up. So you can see exactly what, what she I'd like does. you to do this. We, as we know, this is the Orion TI 84 Plus talking graph and counter. Let's take a peek at and this. I would like for you to turn it on. And you remember where that button is? There, there you go. And did you feel it vibrate on the little and, and it made the little sound that it's on. So uh, the, the first thing that I would uh, like for you to do is go into the help button and press that three times. Okay, so you're in the help mode now, and go ahead and, and just press a few keys to show us what it's doing. Okay, so all the help menu is doing is telling you what those keys are, and if you can't find something, you can come back later uh, and get into help mode. So that, that's a very uh, a good thing to have, and it can also let you know about what's happening above, uh, above the calculator. Let me explain to people, from about here, down all the way down here that's your ti84 plus calculator and if your tdi says do i have to do anything with this part of the calculator you're going to say no that my math teacher is going to teach me all of that and what your vi teacher is going to probably need help to give you help with will be what's above here which is what we call the orion and let's push us a few of those okay so as you can see how that is utilized let me uh, clear my screen as we're still talking um, isn't that interesting? So the keys up here is where the VI, as I said before, prior to the video, and then down here is where the function where the math teacher does. And if they get lost, they can go ahead and press the help button to go back over the function of those keys. And lastly, we would like to see them, her utilized in the classroom just to see how it will work and how it will work for your students should you want to receive that so if you don't mind i'm going to straighten up my calculator my uh, screen while this is going on is it that falls in line with the, something that they envisioned it's pretty amazing it really has made my life so much easier in the classroom and out of it when i'm doing homework and now i'm able to be part of these advanced classes and be able to be part of the discussion equally We'll need your calculator since we're running through a couple simulations. Uh, and then you'll have the rest of the time to work on this. And it's going to take today and tomorrow. It is her right hand in the process of, of her education mathematically. It, it is what she needs exactly and wants. You know, so not only is Lily considering herself very fortunate that I have this and I can use this, I have equal access than what everybody else has. The other students are watching it going, this is pretty cool. Two or three years ago, when we you know, would look at high school classes and, and even college classes, uh, what careers you want to go into, there were some that we just ruled out because uh, we knew how, not that she couldn't do the work, but whether the material would allow her to do it effectively, independently. And it was very frustrating that there was whole sections of classes uh, in math, higher math, that, and in science that we knew that just was not going to work out for her well. The Orion TI-84 plus talking graph and calculator really puts students that are, are blind and, and visually impaired on an even playing field uh, for success in advanced math and science courses. And what I find is really powerful today is that we're bringing the power of visualization to students that are blind or visually impaired where they're able to listen, they're able to touch, and they're able to feel the mathematics. And that's just incredibly cool. We were Isn't that awesome? Wasn't that awesome? I just love it. I just really love it. I could definitely send the link to you, everyone, if they would like to see it in its entirety. But for the sake of time, I just wanted to share, end with this. And this is her comments of what she said. You might have heard her say it, but I'm going to just reiterate it in case you might not have. And she says, I feel confident. I enjoy math. I get help from my peers and teachers just like other students.
Isn't that the ultimate goal that we want? We want all of our students to have equal access. We want the all to go as far as they can. And this assistive technology allows her to go into upper advanced math and science and she is not held back. And she's able to be a, a part of the class just like everyone else. I want to thank you so much for your time on today, and I hope you consider this AT technology tool should you need it in the future. Bye-bye.